index and match. So index and match, index and match, ladies and gentlemen, index and match. So index and match. So we are reading here about index. Index returns a value or a reference of the cell at the intersection of a particular row and a column in a given range. Hiyo inakaa kama Greek. Inakaa kama kitu funny funny. Lakini kitu rahisi sana. Kwamba just like for example when we talk over matrices. Matrices are defined fully by rows and what here yeah? columns. Rows and columns. Right? What we call Roman Catholic. So index has got quite uh, that and I would want you to listen and listen to me very well. When I tab this index onto that cell, when I tab this index onto this cell, when I tab the index onto the cell, they're asking me, for example, for an array. So array, so what do I want? Array, for example, I could come and pick these teams here, right? Control shift down. So I'm able to highlight very fast or I highlight your longer way, right? Ladies and gentlemen, after I put down that array out of which I would want to get a particular team, out of which I would want to get a particular team, they are telling me after the array to put a comma. You know, Excel guides you, put a comma. So come and put a comma there. After you put a comma, they're asking you about the row number, about the row number. So row number, row number, I can come and pick like if I want Lazio. This will be one, two, three four, five. So it's row number five. From there, ladies and gentlemen, they are telling me to give them a column number. But because I highlighted, because I highlighted only one column, I never highlighted so many columns, I don't have to put this column number. That's why they are even putting it in brackets. Optional. It's optional. So come and close that. If I close that, ladies and gentlemen, and say enter, what am I seeing there? That given the fact that I know the row number of Lazio. Excel has been able to index it. Excel has been able to, given the row and the column number, Excel has been able to pick that item. Let me repeat this again. You will go to a place, ladies and gentlemen, where you get an interviewer giving you an Excel worksheet, Excel worksheet of 10,000 rows. And then this guy will tell you, that he would want you to bring out the commodity, which is in row number 500. He'll give you the title, column title. So in this case here, for example, if it is this one, he'll come and give you something like this. He tells you country, Germany. So owner will be not a problem. I'll just come and highlight. Of course, you may as well to highlight even it. How many columns, I mean, row, row 500. Ukitaka ku highlight vizuri, una kuja kama hii country, unaweka hapo namna hiyo kasa yako. Ukisaka kasa yako namna hiyo, unasema control shift and then we have those down arrow. Down arrow, so unafinya down arrow once in a highlight zote. Unamuliza umesema row number ngapi? Yeye anakuambia for example, row number 5 out of those countries. Ah, unamwambia row number 5. I know something that can easily pick for me a particular row number item. I know it. I know it, it's called index. So I'll come to a particular cell anywhere on this Excel worksheet, say equals, and then I punch index, stone my ignorance, because I could have blue ticked there, I'll be able to tab right away, I'll be able to tab right away, and then they are asking me to give them an array. So an array, they are, you know, array is a table, right? So it has given me the column to work with. It is country this time round. So I have my control shift, and then I have down like that. After array, I'll ask my interviewer, you say that I get an item that is in row number five. Let me use row number four this time around. You say that I get an item that is in row number four. After array, I can see these guys want me to give them a row number. So I'll come and say comma, then say row number, he told me four, like that, right? After that, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be able to do what you have to enter straight away, even without closing brackets, really. So I'm able to see row number four, the country which is there, is Germany. Just count here, one, two, three, four. Four like that. It's Germany. Ah, could I kindly give you a minute to try this indexing thing on your screen? Could you kindly try this indexing thing, index thing? Index is a very, very important thing. You go to a trial balance. 
somebody would be interested in knowing the item which is in a particular row from a trial balance. Even for my sampling purposes, I may want in this case here randomly to select an item as an auditor, which is in a particular row randomly. So I want to test, for example, item number seven. So I click it using index. So I'm giving you a minute to try, ladies and gentlemen, practicing on your own. And then I would want to see, once you practice even twice, twice, we're able to get items coming up automatically. Then I would expect to see students who are dancing. I would expect to see students who are dancing here. And I would also expect, I love this, although not uh, in practical outside there, but I love in academic world, I love seeing the students crying. Those are honest students. You cry when you're not able to get anything, right? You use an emoji instead of typing so much when I see a huge cry, somebody crying in this case here, shedding, shedding tears, riverside tears. I know there is a problem. <laughs> I've understood nothing really. What I do not know, I can see Robert for the first time, Robert is crying. <laughs> Does it mean it identifies? Thank you very much, Caroline Larian. I'll be able to say my Apple neighbor. Robert, now, Wanafuzu again, please ensure that uh, you have this document with yourselves. Eh? There's a document, there's a document, and please store those documents nicely. Like there is a student who shared a uh, screen here. I realize that student on Ajua Sana Kufanya, right? As in Mojoku store, we are together, right? Right. Keep, thank you very much. Keep is dancing there. Great. Celebrating. But come, Abdul. Abdul, I know you are capable of buying a good computer. Abdul, this is something you walk to. Ah, Lucingu, you have a question mark me. I got German, but see, what I'm doing. Thank you very much, scholar sticker. That is the kind of honest we want. That is the kind of honest we want. Cynthia Mesema Sawa, right? Done. Now, ladies and gentlemen, listen and listen to me very well. Listen and listen to me very well. I would want to start. I would want to start again. I would want to start again. I would want to start again. Let me tidy up my table here. Now, remember, if, for example, I want to bring out an item, like I would want to know these teams that I have here. Somebody may want to know which team is in row number, for example, three. Which team is in row number three? Somebody will tell you the team that is in row number three. I hate it with passion. And I would want you to bring it out. Tell us which team is in row number three. So then what I'll do, I'll come here, ladies and gentlemen, and say equals, and then I bring, I know index is the one that selects row items, right? So I can see it is blue tick like that. I can see it's blue tick like that. So if it is blue tick like this, ladies and gentlemen, I'll come and say tab. When I tab there, I can see straight away that they want me to pick an array. So the array does not have to be like a one column, no. I can even pick in this case here, three columns or even more columns. And then as a gentleman, what I'll do, I'll come and say comma there, right? So they're asking me row number. So row number, row number, we said three, third row, third row. But now because you have picked many columns, because you have picked many columns, now you have to specify. specify. Remember, I want to pick a, a, a team that is in row number three. So the team is will be in column number one. So I have to say comma there, and then I say column number one. I don't even have to close the bracket. I'll come and say enter. It is telling me that this Red Devils team is in row number three, column number one. 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 Are we together there? Are we together there? Are we together there? So Scholastica, this index thing is used to locate items. So long as you know the row number and you know the column number, you'll be able to locate these items. Are we together? Ah, yeah, ah, yeah, 
Yes. Can I go to something different? Can I go to today is a day of practice. Samuel has a very good emoji. I'm smiling with you, which is very good. Very good. Very good. So I'm not seeing anybody crying. If I don't see anybody crying or asking a question, that's a very good indicator that you're showing me a green light, telling me, you know what, move forward, move forward, move forward. So can I move forward and show you something very important called repeat uh, column and row, column and row, column and row, column and row. Ah, yeah. So for example, listen and listen to me very well. I would want to come and start this index thing. So I'll say equals there. So I start right away by saying index, I tab it like that. So I can even come and copy this thing, the entire, like that, and copy the entire, like that, right? And then I say comma, because you can see it's given here comma array, comma, from their row number. If, for example, I would want to get country, eh? a country which is on row number four, row number four, so I'll come and say four, and then I say comma, so this country now is in which column? Can somebody talk to me? This country is in which column? 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 Column number two. So I have to specify column number two. Column number two. Column number two. Like that. I say like that. So it has told me column number two, this thing that is there on the fourth row, of column two is Germany. It's Germany. It's Germany. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So well, as long as I define row and I define a column, then you are at home. Then straight away you are at home. You are at home. Ladies and gentlemen, I can see one chat item there, two of them. Is it German or England? Let's see. One, two, three, four. Oh, mesabuaje. Mary, where as Moluko may copy Paka Jina country, maybe. Kumuka to copy Kutoka Pajama and Gondachini, beneath the country. Just check, 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 check. Like, ladies and gentlemen, how about now this one? We have another one called March. Called March. So, March is a very interesting one. Look at this. Look at this, March. equals, equals. So, March is a very interesting Once I start saying March, it returns the relative position of an item in an array that matches a specified value in a specified order. So match is the opposite of what here, yeah? index. So for match, you will be defining, for match, you will be defining a particular, for example, we want to know the row number of Manchester United. So here now you are given a product or an item, and then now match will be giving you what we call the row number. Listen and listen to me very well, I'll tab there. Once I tab there, it's asking me for what year a lookup value. So lookup value, I, I may decide in this case here to pick anything. Eh? Like I can decide to pick here Manchester United. So it is here, I pick it like that. I say comma. Then from there, ladies and gentlemen, after lookup value, it is asking me for a lookup array. Where do we find Manchester United? Manchester United is beneath the teams here. So I'll come and copy the Manchester United teams like that, right? When I copy ladies and gentlemen like that, it is asking me this thing of uh, less, exact much, zero, greater than one. So between the three, which number do you think should I write there? Between the three, which number do you think should I write here? Which number do you think should I write here between the three? Which number do you think should I write here? Please be very honest with me. If you're not following, please tell me which number should I write there? I should write zero always. It's it, for us, it's exact match. Ours is very easy. Ours is not like the statisticians one. So in this case, I'll come and write zero there. Once I write zero there, I'll be able to do what here to put a bracket there. When I put a bracket, if I wish that is, when I say like that, this thing is returning a row to me. It's telling me that Manchester United, in this row, Manchester United is in position number three. Manchester United is in position number three. Now listen, listen, let me repeat this. What if I wanted to match Lazio? What if I wanted to match Lazio? Nakuja up and copy to Lazio. Nikisha copy Lazio like that, nakuja next cell. Now I'm here equals match, equals match. Except a match, of course, it's blue label there. I'll be able to say, lookup value is the team that I would want to look up. I say, comma, lookup array for Lazio is 
under the teams, under the teams like that, right? I say comma, less exact, I know it is zero. I say zero. If I would need, I wish I can close the bracket. It is telling me that Lazio is the fifth team. Count one, two, three, four, five. Lazio is the fifth team. How I wish I was seeing guys here, in this case here, drowning in tears, in their own tears, or dancing, or dancing, or dancing. How I wish, how I wish I saw so many students in this case here participating more than 20. If I could get reactions from more than 20 students, that's a quarter of the class, I'll feel very nice. I'll feel very nice. Atafadali piu spoilewa katika cohort ya kwanza kabisa, make sure men na mimi katika cohort number, but will not charge you again. Right, to spoilewa kabisa hii, amo miss miss class na maybe always watch video, we go again to cohort number two, which is starting on third of, January. It is very important that we grasp this thing. Now that I'm getting very serious assignments of financial modeling, I would want a team out of here because we have a problem with getting skilled people in this area. So I end up doing donkey work. I would want you guys to do this modeling for me for like three years before, it also become very seasonal. Right? So is there anybody in this case here, first of all, who is dancing? I want to be one of them. Thank you very much. We have here, ladies and gentlemen, Anu Muhatia. Yeah, Victor, my network, Mwalimu from Wajia, is very bad. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. How about uh, you using uh, Safaricom? I don't believe Safaricom, uh, even in Wajia, is better. Safaricom, the better option. Uh, Kipkuri, you don't say repeat. Kipkuri, you use a reaction. I want you to learn these things. You say, you cry. You cry or you bring out a very sad face and i want to be one of those people great yes so perhaps when you come to nairobi you can pass via my office yeah we can have a discussion but so long as you tell me already using safari com is not good no idea then that is absurd this thing that maybe maybe it's a bitter option how you did it, my network, Elisumbua, who she explains, and I was like, who naga too, machozi. You got machozi, meet a Jew. Who she explains, and I was like, machozi, meeting with you in South Sudan. Great. And Komira Amelia, it's oh, it's raining. Okay. And Omwelia Mepata. Great. The Anna Komina Leka, you got thumbs down, Vivi, so get to Zuri, the Manisha, Rudia. Ken Gugi is confused. Malik Mepata, Karo Mepata, great. Ken, I'm here. I'm going to do. I don't know. Ken, it's good. You put your, you put a phone. Try to put an emoji. Emoji this thing. You can like what Facebook is doing this meta, metaverse. Easy, my emojis and everything. They're going to be a very, a very, very common tool. It's good we get to start knowing how to use them. Right, the mepata, but it's due change, nafanya. So due to nafanya, thank you very much for being honest. Right, Victor Mesema Sawa. Sasa, listen and listen to me very well. What if, for example, the weze ku understand vizuri, weze ku understand vizuri, weze ku understand vizuri. What if, for example, you want to match a team here, you want to match a team here, so tab. So you want to match a team called Arsenal, called Arsenal, and you don't have Arsenal here. So I would want to type Arsenal here. Remember in Excel, whenever you are typing a word, words must always be within quotation marks because Excel is created to recognize numbers alone, right? So if you are forced to type, ladies and gentlemen, some characters here, you are forced to type words inside there, the words must be in form of what here, somebody must be in form of inside quotation mark. So I'll come and say there, Arsenal, Arsenal, I close. So I'm matching Arsenal, I'm matching Arsenal like that. That's the lookup value, the thing that I'm looking up for. And then I'll be able to say comma. So they want the lookup array, the lookup array, ladies and gentlemen, the lookup array, moves like this under the teams, right? From there, ladies and gentlemen, we have comma there. Of course, we have what here, we have a zero. 
we have a zero for exact match. And then we'll be able to put what there, you'll be able to put a closing uh, parenthesis, and then you say what here, you enter like that. Ah, it's bringing nine. It is telling me that Arsenal is a ninth team. Arsenal is a ninth team. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I would want someone to learn that thing of putting quotation marks instead of copying something directly from a cell. From a cell. Quotation mark, quotation mark, quotation mark, quotation mark, quotation mark. And use as an all exactly. 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 I want to say, but they don't know what they are doing. You want to get the position of a, a team, my friend, where you're not able to really see what you're doing here. You want to know, for example, Arsenal is team number what? 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 Scholastica, ah, Jenny, I think today, Jenny, is your day. Perhaps, Jenny, today is your birthday, right? Right? You seem to be getting these things. But I call the Jenny, I call my hope, Excel, son. I call part of my errors throughout. So we are overcoming, right? After she decided, thank you very much. Now you are laughing. You're laughing, right? You're laughing, right? Right? Irengia Kabisa keep. Thank you very much. At least Kunaka dancing, pale, right? Losing Gugi, e question mark, and was to understand. Alex Asante, my father said, Losing question mark, let me understand. I'm an overcomer. Losing and understand, Yakulia, I'm a good dance. E a question mark, to understand, Sam. Only dance, oh. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, listen and listen on the Rudia Tena. No problem. No problem. So I would want to repeat with that, a team called Liverpool, a team called Liverpool, a team called Liverpool, Liverpool. So I'll come and say equals, right? I say match. I want to know its position. I'll blue tick a uh, uh, tab like that. So look up value is Liverpool. Come on, who you work at Liverpool? I'll type over direct at Liverpool. I'll type over direct when they one. I'll type over the same comma. When they Liverpool, the same comma, for example. So look up array is here. At Ujaka quotation marks, semi look up array is like that, semi comma, Ukujapo semi zero, very nicely, semi uh, close. Ukisema, ah, yeah, is I realize Kuna character may come by ya. Right? So then what I'll do very fast is to go back, I'll not cry here, I go back to my formula, ah, is equal to make spelling Missouri, I know she didn't realize that I can't lie you, but I know most important, ladies and gentlemen, the thing that I really uh, was not able to put very nicely are the quotation marks. So I come, I have opening quotation marks and I have a closing quotation marks, opening and closing quotation marks. You say enter like that. Now you can see Liverpool is in position number what here? Eight. Liverpool is in position number eight. So Malim, I've repeated this for you, but now that you don't have a laptop, it'll be very hard for you to do what here to really uh, practice. To practice, right? Right. So, kuja hapa spelling. Uki miss out on spelling, unapotea kabisa. Uki miss out on spelling, unapotea. Wezi pata chochote. Ata ili angusinge pata. Spelling matters. Irina, I can see you're celebrating. Thank you very much. Now, a good student would ask, kuna kitu mbao sita make up a statement. Kuna statement sita make. Nikuulize swali. Umeshao na mahali askari ana match in two rows. Atana kanyaga hapa na always matching na kuonga ni one column ama one straight line. Kama na wa NYS. Matching urachunga line yako sana. So kwa match, you can only highlight one column or one row. Whenever they ask you for an array, for a match, you can only match on one column or one row. So wakisema match, mini kena kutumia match, na juwanga na angalia nga soja tu. Una match, ukija match, let me show you something here. Assuming, ladies and gentlemen, here I'm doing here the match. Assuming I'm doing the match there, I'll say tab there. So look up value. For example, I want to look up for a team like Milan. 
for example, like Milan. So of course, I would want this Milan to be in terms of what your quotations like that. Quotation, together with me, quotations, straight down, you men are a kind of programming, eh? These are quotations from Nai, Zukalot Katika, macros, macros. Very important concepts, right? Now, as a gentleman who kids up or who semi comma. So, look, look up, are we semi, una semi, we, 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 at the, at the, at the, March, at the Askara Mekamata and Giambi, or Tapasuka Msamba, at EV. March, I will see that Giambi. March, I will see Kashika and Giambi. If, if, if all of us were coming from the same tribe, I would have really, Mentioned that thing in my mother tongue for you to take it up very well. Because the kind of partia errors quite excel. The kind of partia errors quite excel. Much I day she can jambili. Much I day she can. Ato fanya na mnyani. Much I day she can jambili. Andika to kuakiswaili koma much in one line. Andika to kuakiswaili much. Index you can copy the entire table as you wish, but much you always match on one line. Ladies and gentlemen. When you use index candle and the match candle in finance, whenever those things are used separately in finance, they do not make sense. In finance, index and match make sense when you combine the two together. It's called the index match function. When you combine the two, index match function, when you combine the two, then automatically they will make out of sense for an accountant. Now you give an index candle, you are very correct, but you can't find an in. Right? Right? Because index by itself, match by itself, when they are handled separately, they are useless to an accountant. Don't even learn them. They only become very, very important to us when handled together. When handled together. So then, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. So if I'm to combine now index and match, if I am to combine the index and match, this is what I'll do in terms of uh, searching for my team. I love this. team So na na index kawaida. So nasema index apo. Inanuliza what is the array. Now listen and listen to me very well. So the array and the country, what do I have? And the country. Where is the array? It is here and the country, right? And again, when I'm combining both of them, they become one column, one column. When I'm combining index and match, they become soldiers who walk on the same line, the same parade like that. So under the country, ladies and gentlemen, here I am under the country. Great. Now, there is something you guys have to know. There is something that you guys have to know from the word go. In terms of index, the dollar referencing should always mark the start of my column and the end of my what year, the end of my column. I'm repeating this again, that in indexing, when I'm combining index on match, the dollar signs will always be put at the beginning. Like you can see at the beginning here, we have a number four. So we have number four, so I'll come under before here. So we have number four, and then it is sending at number 12. Don't worry about that, right? Right? So you say dollar like that. And then safari and the after the array, they want you to put a comma. So the next, when I look at what is the row number, I know the row number, I will not put the row number here if I'm using index and match. Because here row number, I know it is the match which gives me the row. I know it is the match which gives me the row. So I'm going to type match, right? Already match is coming up in a blue. I don't have to continue really typing it. So I'll come and say tab. Now listen and listen to me very well. You can see after I put match there, the lookup value, they're asking me for lookup value. What am I looking up for? I'm looking up for as a no. Now after I press that H4, ladies and gentlemen, tell me where should I put the dollar? Somebody, somebody. Where should I put the dollar? 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 Somebody talk to me. Where should I put the dollar? Because the dollar must be put somewhere. Where should I put the dollar? Where should I put the dollar? Where should I put the dollar? Somebody, somebody talk to me. Where should I put the dollar? Where should I put the dollar? Before H. Is it before four or before H? It's before H. It's before H, where? 
It's before H. Why? Because H, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, H is a column benchmark. It's a column benchmark. So I'll come and put there before H, before H, like that. So before H, like that, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be able to put my dollar there, right? I'll have to safari in and layer, safari in and layer, or an MBA look up array. Wow, here I have to be very careful because much I cannot copy the entire thing. Much we normally copy one if it's a column, it's one like where Arsenal is, this is the column under the team. So the lookup array, ladies and gentlemen, I'll come and copy from Borussia there. I copy straight away to Arsenal. Of course, I must put some dollars there. Can you kindly help me? Where do you think am I going to put dollars in lookup array? Lookup array, where do you think am I going to put a dollar or dollars? In lookup array, where do you think am I going to put dollar or dollars? Dollar or dollars, where do you think am I going to put dollars there? In lookup array, where do you think am I going to put dollar or dollars? Let me see your chats. Please talk to me. I'm your father. I am your father. The best father that you'll ever have in this world. Before four and twelve, Uongo. Then it's Uongo. Abi Uongo. I said, "Don't get me Uongo." Kumbukeni array array kama hiya. You lock all. Use a four. Array use a four. Yeah, use a four. Look up array as to me a four. Look up array as to me a four. So when I think a four at once, you lock everything. From there, ladies and gentlemen, you put a comma. So when I put a comma, what am I going to put there next? When I put a comma, what am I going to put there next? When I put a comma, what shall I put there next? When I put a comma, what shall I put there next? Zero. Thank you very much, a zero. Zero. Thank you very much, a zero. So that is it. Then what I'll do, I'll come and do what here. I'll come and close my parenthesis like that. And then I say, ah, sorry, sorry. If you look, why is this thing telling me there is a typo? We found a typo in your formula and tried to correct it to this, whatever. Of course, whenever they correct for you, you say yes. But you see, if you are keen enough, even me, I just hit my enter without looking at this. Excel does not accept red brackets. We can make a bracket in red when you are doing, in this case, it doesn't matter whether you're doing macros, VBA, whatever. We can a red bracket you must close with a big black bracket. So without, in this case, here, accepting the correction here, I would want to come and correct myself. I would want to come and correct myself and put in this case here, a big black. You, you see the red is for the match. And then the big black now will be the big black like that, right? So from there, ladies and gentlemen, then you'll be able to say like that. Now listen and listen to me very well. I'll be able to repeat this very well, but for now, that could excuse it. Uzuri wa ikitu, kuliko V look up, kuliko H look up, hii ukipeleka aina maneno, inakupatia kila kitu correct. Ukiju kiandika kitu ngini hapa, for example, useme lazio. Ukuja hapa useme lazio. Ah, yeah, yeah, this thing is the most beautiful thing ever. Ukisha ijua vizuri, it is the most beautiful thing ever. Ukisema lazio, ukija hapa chini tu, where Kazi ni kusema namre, akura kusema later to change my column. Akura kusema later to change my column. And that is why index and match replaced VLOOKUP permanently. Hapa kama sioni machozi, Najwa mnandangana nini. Hapa kama siyo ni machozi. Machozi ishirini. Maybe dancing moja. Machozi ishirini. Dancing moja peke yake mnandanganya. Mnandanganya. Na msidanganya baba enu. Msidanganya baba enu. Msidanganya baba enu. <laughs> Nangila mepata Greek. <laughs> Victor mepata hiko samu. <laughs> Siti ya melea machozi yote wisho na wakama. <laughs> Thank you Lord. Alex ya melea yote kabisa. <laughs> <laughs> Samuel is we shall overcome. We shall overcome. Scholastica Melia or Melia. <laughs> it has a queen here. Okay. <laughs> so I would want us to have a break of three minutes only. We'll come back at 2113, 13, and then I'll start the entire thing from scratch. From scratch. <laughs> Yeah, it's a dollars. I didn't see you. 
uh, how you remove the red bracket. That I will do. Like it was a similar to Smame Ju, to Smame Ju Tafari, including myself, to pick a Kwanza, to pick a, to pick a, to pick a Kwanza uh, a break. Very, very important. If you put a break and a practice, it will cause us an. I could have practice. All of us, we go out and at least health break. Very important. To put it back, 2114. Bwina <laughs> anajita, anajita CM, I mean, Fred, I'm going to say that I'm going to say And that is Excel for everybody. Excel is all about trying. And trust you me, Excel hata mimi mwenyewe saa hizi. Siyezi ni kajidaya tunajua ta Excel 60%. Apana, because every day I keep on learning new things through what your trial and error. So even you, even after this, I'll be giving you powers to truly read. All right. They can yeah, keep us on also trying to get <laughs> But you know, the, the, the worst bit of it, keep and CM never took a break. They never took a break. They never took a break, which is very bad. Very, very bad. Those are gentlemen, please allow me to repeat. So are we are we are we here all of us? Can I repeat the thing now? Can I repeat this thing once and for all? Can I repeat this thing once and for all? Can I repeat this thing once and for all? Yes, yes. So then here we are. Thank you very much. Here we are. Thank you very much. So I'll come and share my screen there. So I want to start here. I'll delete everything there. I'll delete everything here. I will delete everything here. I will delete everything. I will delete everything there. Right, right. So now, ladies and gentlemen, I would want to start from scratch. Remember, it's called index and match. So index and match, I have my equals there. So I index, once I start pressing I index, I can see it is blue ticked. So from there, I know they want me to array the arrangement under country. Arrangement under country. Arrangement under country I have from German there all the way to down like that. But remember, and this is where the dollars disturb students. For index and match, I must always dollar reference the starting point under the finishing point. So like this thing here is starting from number four. It is starting from number four, all the way to number 12. So number four, all the way to number 12. So four, we must have a dollar there. So four, we must have a dollar there. And 12 as well, we must have a dollar here. 12 as well, we must have a dollar there. Ladies and gentlemen, after that, we'll come straight away and put a comma. So when I put a comma, I can see these guys are telling me row number. Because row number, I remember the thing of match. It's about giving us the row number. So I'll now be able to input match. So I'll input match there. Even before I finish uh, typing, I can see it has come up. So I'll come straight away and do what here, tab on the match. And then I have the lookup value. So what am I looking up here? The item that I'm looking up here is called as a null. So as and all, once I press as and all, I'll have to remember, ladies and gentlemen, the concept of what here, that this is a, an item, this is an item, this is an item of reference. It's a column of reference. So I need to come back a little bit and put a dollar here. I need to come back a little bit and put a dollar there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, from there, we have a comma. From there, lookup value, lookup value. So perhaps I should uh, uh, breathe a little bit, even for a minute, and see whether there are students who are really able to match up with my speed. We have students who have been able to reach where Mwalimu has reached. We have students who have been able to reach where Mwalimu has reached. And today, Amaya, I don't know what is not happening today. Amaya, you are so silent, Amaya, which is unlike you. Which is unlike you, Amaya. Which is unlike you. Okay. So have they reached where I have reached? Have they reached where I have reached? Yes, thank you very much. Yes, thank you very much. So the gentleman from there, I'll continue with my journey. After lookup value, they want me to put a comma, then lookup array. The most important thing that I should know is that soldier is matching in one column. So the lookup array is for the item that I have circled here. Where is Arsenal? Arsenal is here. Arsenal is here, like that. Great. Lookup array is always fully, is always fully dollar referenced, is always fully locked up. 
So how do I free lock it up? By saying F4. So once I say F4, the thing has dollars all over, has dollars all over, so I'll be able to say comma, and then of course it's always zero. It's always an exact match for us. So after that, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be able to come and put a comma there. When I put that, not comma, but bracket, the bracket is in red. Red means danger. I have to blacken things. So come and say another bracket. So the last bracket now is black. So after that, I need to come and say what you enter. After I do that, ladies and gentlemen, what I'll do, after I do that, I'll come and say control shift. Then I do the side arrow. No, no, no. We just uh, go back a little bit. Go back a little bit, right? Because we don't have a stopper here, no problem. So in this case, ladies and gentlemen, I can come and highlight this. So when I like like that, or at times, ladies and gentlemen, listen and listen to me very well. Let me go back a little bit. Let me go back a little bit. At times, you can come and just highlight. Eh? Let me show you something here. You can come and just highlight. When you highlight like that, when you highlight like that, there is also another easier way of uh, 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 filling up, out of fill. So if you want to out of fill after you have uh, been able to highlight these, there is what we call control to the right. You say control R. If you say control the to the right, control R. It basically gives you the values on the right hand side, all of them. Control R, Control R. Just like, for example, like if I want to go down, I can come and use my usual, I can come and just highlight this. I can, sorry, sorry. I can come, ladies and gentlemen, and highlight the entire thing like that, even downwards, even right. And then I'll say, Control what here, Control down. But those are things that I'll be teaching you as you get along. Because remember, ladies and gentlemen, a good student of Excel does not use a mouse. Okay, when we begin, I even advise you, because you're not so good in Excel, I even tell you, even for your laptop, go and buy a mouse, you start with it. But as we get along, especially when we get to financial modeling, you should be able to do everything in Excel without using a mouse through those shortcuts. You cannot control down. I guess that's how you must then, Sabataki Shida, Madenani, German word. German word. Sabataki Shida, where does Zoya to Mezoya Kwanza Kwasasa? To Zoe, Unakama is at a Kuja Seme Apa Phil. Unajo, what is the what is the, what is the, the limitation of this? The limitation of this is what if, for example, you are to get like a hundred uh, columns now? Will you really go scrolling? Even hundred ratios are bigger. Yeah, thousand. So that's why Lazmo was a good control right in a chapter sort of crap. Right? I'm a control down in a chapter sort of a commush. Apia, come on, control down. You can come and put this cursor there, laugh on a double click. You've been a Kuletianga. Akambia Lazio, Italy. Lazio, no Champions League. Lazio, 38 games played, 56 points earned. ETC, ETC, ETC. Great. So let me again take two minutes to brief to, to get your feedback. To get your feedback. Now, number to Naweka, Nini. Row number to know where can it okay? Is financial modeling a separate teaching? Am I included? Have a advanced Excel? Where Abdul, the corner from Bali, the corner, whole number nine. <laughs> financial modeling is not part of this. Financial modeling, there is a guy here who advised me that for financial modeling, I should charge you guys 7,500. And then another one, after dragging, I'm getting not clicking. Another one, ask this student. Why are you quoting such kind of a big price? Are you a shareholder at RCM? Great. Mr. Afinia Sanamini Babayenu. Now, Ukuno Manafuzi Moyanasema and a pattern not applicable, the error message there, it's because of your dollar references. Just check your dollar references. Yours are not like mine. Check your dollar references. Check your dollar references. Check your dollar references. Check your dollar references. Ladies and gentlemen, there are quite uh, too many opportunities in Excel, especially if you know how to brand yourself. Like now, the videos that I did three, four, I'm getting videos. Like now, I got somebody from America 
wants me to do uh, for him an Excel worksheet, an Excel worksheet, right? Excel worksheet, Excel worksheet, right? For some business that he has, right? He's been trying in this, he also believes in Excel. He's been trying QuickBooks, ETC, but he wants something of his own, which will be able to keep on expanding and expanding. Next you can expand and then look at the security features, introduce a passwords, be able to give us some employees restricted access, for example, to some tabs, right? Right? So I want to see whether there are students who are still crying. Got it? Mine is Germany. Mine, ah, financial modeling opportunities. We're looking at, for example, business valuation, right? Business valuation, we're looking at business valuation. For example, you're given cash flows. How do you value a business? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great. So, so many opportunities. You know, you know, like, for example, how you do this uh, income statements balance sheet. If you are a, a good finance modeler, you should be able to prepare a template for big organizations so that in the future, these organizations will not uh, be really worried about what year, what, no, no, no. Theirs will be to plug and play. They put in, they get profit. They put in, they get their cash flows, like that. Now, as a gentleman, can I go to something different? Are you going to cover automated financial statements? Yes, that will be able to assist you so this is not part of this, but because I would want you guys to become so nice in this, I'll be able to connect to the income statement, cash flow, and the balance sheet together. So when you change a figure here automatically. But remember, also that depends on how good you become in these key accounting things, like index and match, some ifs. If you're not going to become so good in this, then you cannot do those automated financial statements. You can't do. So you must keep on practicing. You must keep on practicing. Ukiamuka usiku una practice, una practice. Usingoje ti aure jioni feke yake, right? Si Syria amepata, si Lila. Hi, ili jina Kenya kwe li na lusu. Hi, ini tari. Asante sana, that's a beautiful name, matari. Kwa kisi Kenya hii, kisi Kenya hii. Great. Mali wamepata iyo, great, great, great. So we have to practice a lot. Amaya lost, Amaya I knew from the word go. Your nature no kuongea. And Muhatia got it. Great, great. Kama ngekua nyinyi kama sayo kusha marazana na nyinyi saane. Kutulipatia discount jima marketing. Sawa Samuel, okay. Yeah, especially Samuel. If we have a hundred registering, if you have a hundred registering, yeah, that will be seven fifty thousand for sure. I'll give you a hundred thousand somewhere. Right, right. Some will promote this thing with you. We hit a thousand students, right? We get seven point five million. Ah, and what? Okay, thank you very much. We get seven point five million. I give you something nice. To end up with like a to pick a Rahawabi Hawaii <laughs> as a team, as a team. Great, great. So, and gentlemen, thank you very much. So here we are. We are Melia Sanae. Ebu trudi around the moja. Tena sana makujari. Trudi around the moja. Utajua sasa. Now, Chris, the course outline up at the rise is Anna Chris. Because like now, after index and match, I'm only teaching you, I'm only teaching you things that you need as an accountant. After index and match, I'll be able to do what we call some ifs. After some ifs, I'll take you straight away now to the financial statements. Financial statements. Right? So then how do we apply this if we look up? For example, when we have a multiple workbooks, when we have an income statement here, we have a balance sheet here, ETC, how do we apply that? So I'll be able to apply now this uh, to the tools that you guys need, right? Okay. Is the people table is in a shida? It's only one minute. It's on a jewel. It's in the elevator, lunch hour, ETC, like that. 
Zinajua. But the most other graphs, sa graphs kama ukidem manage graph au utapatia bar chart everything. Those are basic things. Hizo ndakuonyesha. Like the major thing out of this is that you guys should be able to know how to do an income statement balance sheet. No no no, these are graphs, okay? Those ones are very basic. Don't worry. Histogram is an issue. How, 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 where do you want to use this histogram or SQL? Well, more? Be to me, if you ask me, the graphs which are important for an accountant, for example, will be like uh, a pie chart. So a pie chart will be able to say like, uh, if, it, if I'm a finance manager, this is how I expect to raise my funds. 20% equity, 80% debt. So I show like that big one, right? Right, big one, right? I would want in this case here to show you, ladies and gentlemen, I would want to show how, for example, you get like the EPSs increasing using the budgets, right? Using the line chart. Don't complicate life for Monday, Clinton. Right? 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 And then the other thing that I would want to show all of you, all of you, after this, I would like to show you, ladies and gentlemen, how to do PowerPoint slides. PowerPoint slides, after Michelle Patapata is the figures, how do you do professional PowerPoint slides? So that uh, at the end of the day, come on, una, una like a proposal. Let me just show you something here. Come on, a fanya like a proposal. Uh, let me show you something here. Let me stop sharing first. <clears throat> 